but at least she can say she's had a bumpo Christmas. Several months ago, Mrs. Jean Robenis found a swan with a broken wing. She nursed it back to health at her hospital for sick birds, but the swan couldn't be left to fend for itself on the Thames because it was still partly paralysed. In fact, it developed quite an aversion to open water life. As it's the property of the Crown, the Lord Chamberlain had to give permission for Jean to retrain the bird, and it's quite a job. The patient's confidence had been pretty severely shattered. It all goes to prove you can lead a swan to water, but you can't be sure it won't sink. Big crowds at Williamstown, Victoria, to see the launch of another swan, HMAS Swan, a new escort destroyer. But the champagne refuses to break. The captain decides it needs a man's hand behind it. Perhaps a little harder. Just another swan that doesn't want to get wet. But the honour of the Navy is at stake, so the dockyard crew has to come to the rescue. At last, brute force overcomes the embarrassment, and the swan is on her way. A line-up of young ideas at Olympia, 